I'll yes. come to you, Steve. Being open as a parent, uh, what do you make of this one? Absolutely, because uh, if we don't teach our kids about life, mm. about relationships, dating, sex, then they're going to get taught somewhere else um, from social media, maybe, or from uh, people at school or uh, elsewhere. So it's a big responsibility for parents, and I think they've got strong views as a uh, someone who's been happily married for for 28 years and we've uh, mrs v and i have counseled couples and uh one strong message from the church is that there should be no sex before marriage mm -hmm. but the church has very little to say on having sex after marriage mm. but uh, it's there to strengthen your marriage i believe when it comes to young people we are uh, we are very vague when we are saying do not have sex before marriage because I think w that's that's all you're told We mm. do not have sex before marriage, but I in the church They're not explaining why are you not supposed to have sex in the marriage mm. and the thing is You start to learn sex from other avenues because you're not learning it at church You mm. you'll start learning about sex from your phone You'll start learning about sex from your friends who are probably doing it wrong because the church has become so conservative They don't they can't even say certain words. I mean, I'm just talking about simple things about body parts. They can't say them to you because they're very conservative as a church. And also that goes to the parents as well. Mm -hmm. The parents, because they're from the church, they can't say all these things to their kids. They can't explain, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. All you're told is stay away from sex. And I, I believe that uh, a lot of young people get misled by that.